Hey everyone, it is Sunday, January 16th. The time is 10 minutes to midnight and the temperature is around minus two degrees Celsius. And with the wind chill, I think that's about minus five. And I'm here in Midtown Toronto. And there's a look over at Young Street. And as you can see, we're having a bit of a snowfall. And there's a look south down Yonk. And overnight, I think we're expecting around 10 to 15 centimeters in total. And that would make this the biggest snowfall of the season so far. And we've had some rather cold days, but we haven't really had a proper snowstorm yet. And if the forecast is to be believed, that's what we're in for later tonight. And there goes a smart car. I'm not sure how steady the footing is on that thing. So this is south down the east side of Young from Broadway. So my plan was to go out later tonight once the snow was really coming down, but I realized I was sitting at home not really doing anything and the snow already started. So I popped out to film a quick video first and then I'll go home and get started on editing this and then I'll turn around and come back out and hopefully head downtown and record a video or two. So hopefully this is just a taste of what's to come later today. And when I record these night videos, it takes much longer for my computer to render them because there's a denoising process. So the stuff I filmed in the middle of the night would not be ready for tomorrow morning, but there's a chance this one will. As you can see, Young Street is rather quiet. And there's the Duke of Kent. And indoor dining is currently prohibited in the province. So that'll contribute to things being extra quiet out tonight. That and it's a Sunday night. Well, it's really not all that cold. It's certainly much colder yesterday. And there's a look over at the Young Eglinton Center. And here's the intersection of Young and Eglinton. So I think I'll probably head east along Eglinton here. And maybe I'll head over to the south side.
Okay, I have another plan. I'll head south for a block. And then I'll make my way back up to Eglinton. Well, that was a pretty good parking job. There's a salting truck. So south would take us to Davisville Station. And this is Sudan. So on Saturday afternoon, I went out and recorded a walk in the freezing cold around the city of Oakville, more specifically the downtown area. So I'm not sure if that video will get up before this one or not. There goes a Beck taxi. And I'll probably be taking a car home tonight. That or maybe the Blue Night bus. As I think the subway shuts down around two. And that's about when I'll be starting to record, I think. I'm not really sure. But the forecast says light snow until about one. Then we'll get some heavier snow from one so I think three or four and then it'll be light again and it'll snow throughout the morning and afternoon I 
And here's a new condo going up, being sandwiched right next to an older rental building. That is called the Plaza Midtown. PurePlaza.com. And I forgot to mention, this is Holly Street. And back when Cartago operated in Ontario, or rather the city of Toronto, here's where I'd often come to pick up a car. They were smart cars, and you paid for them by the hour. And they often ran specials, such as for 90 bucks, you could have it for a day, unlimited miles, gas included. actually took one up to Niagara Falls over Christmas one year. Fortunately, it didn't snow on the way back. But on a separate trip up to Niagara Falls in one of them, I blew a tire just as I got on the highway. I ended up calling them and leaving the car on the highway. Then I took a taxi home. That worked out to be about $150, which they refunded me. And it's back to Eglinton Avenue East. And there's a look towards Young. Back patio open. Without being able to see it, it's hard to tell how warm it'll be. I suppose they'd always let you have a look or would at least be honest with you. Some places don't have much in the way of heat lamps. I went to one restaurant last winter when it, indoor banning was not allowed. And they said they had plenty of heat lamps. And it turns out they didn't. And what they ended up doing, I think there were around eight tables. And they had two heat lamps. And they kind of put them exactly between the tables, effectively doing nothing. So nobody got any warmth. So this is east along the south side of Eglinton Avenue East. Let's see if I can spin the camera around and check the camera lens. There's a little bit of moisture on it. Not sure if that's worth wiping off or not. It's hard to see how clear the image is. I'm walking under a bit of cover here. Let me get another look. Yeah, it looks a little wet. Maybe I'll... Give it a small wipe. Sorry if I just made things worse.
And I've always hated 123 Eglinton Avenue East. Not to use such a harsh term, but we're walking along a pretty developed commercial street. We've got this condo with no retail frontage. I think a long, long time ago, there used to be a Swiss chalet around here. So it's great to see such little street disruption now as all the tunneling for the LRT line is done. Here is Red Path Avenue, so I'll just head north here. And I think the last time I recorded this way was on a video I did called Walking Condo Hell. Not that I necessarily agree with that term, but that's what some have referred to this area as. It's all kinds of new developments going up. I actually think more housing stock is a good thing. The problem is it's not very affordable. some more art like that across the street. And this street here is Roehampton. This used to be a two-way street, but now it's a one-way street. And the street to the north, Broadway was also converted into a one-way street. You can see the gym at that condo, which unfortunately is not allowed to open right now. And that's a really neat touch. I used to date someone who lived in this building. And that's not my only connection to it. I also bought a love seat once from someone who lives here. I remember <laughs> carrying it with a couple of friends home wasn't such a long distance that you would need to drive it. But it was long enough that you felt kind of silly carrying it down the street.
And that straight ahead is Yonge Street. Let's walk through North Toronto Collegiate, which is just here on the right. about doing a walk that just took me along Eglinton Avenue West. But that would have resulted in me having to take the bus back. Oh, there's someone walking their pup out there. I just thought time-wise it would be better to stick to this area. And these towers are all pretty new. They've gone up over the last three or four years. community access between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. all other days. Does that mean I should not be going down there right now? I don't want to interrupt this person and their dog having fun. Last year when dining was also forbidden, I would often come here and grab some takeout and a nice cold beverage. There's a lot of bleachers right here you can sit on and take in a view of all the people using the sports field here, which gets quite busy. And it's got a pretty nice backdrop. And this would be Broadway. So this is the other street that converted into a one-way. Although the last time I was driving west on it, there was a car going in the other direction and I held my horn down at them. And the guy honked back and gave me the bird. Sadly, I wasn't recording that. And here is St. Monica's School. And this place is pretty good. And right across the street over there is where I started this one. Broadway becomes Montgomery on the other side of Young. I think I'm doing okay for time. So now it's north up the east side of Young, although probably not for long. Okay. 
and that bus is not in service. There's Canada Computers. I think I'm going to head south here. I'll save the northern part of this part of Midtown for a future one. Hopefully we'll get a few more good snowfalls this season. It's still the middle of January. This kind of puts me in the mood to go home, turn around, and come back out. That guy is rolling down the sidewalk on a moving electric bike. That's the same kind of bike that I have. And there's a look west along Montgomery. There's where Montgomery's Tavern used to be in the old Postal Station K. And this is right where I started this. Wonder where that bus driver is going. We've got a good amount of powder 
on the sidewalk. You can see the trail that I've been kicking up. There goes the bus driver wandering over towards the library. I think that's also a community center. This building on the right is the Montgomery. That's a dedicated rental building. And on that note, I think I'm gonna finish this one up and go home and do a quick editing job. And hopefully it's rendered out by the time I get home from my adventures later tonight. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. Speaking of which, maybe I'll go up and snag a picture for Instagram. And I have a merch store at strideswag.com and there'll be a link to PayPal. Hope you enjoyed this impromptu walk. All right. Stay warm, stay safe, and I will catch you on the next one. As I hope my camera flips around <laughs> to avoid an awkward ending. Just keep talking, Johnny. Keep making this thing more awkward. And now, for the third time, look where we are. All right, folks, have a good one.